Hi there. This is a demonstration of extending Salesforce with AppSheet. So we're in the persona of a sales field team member, and we've been asked by management to keep the next steps for all of our opportunities up to date on a weekly basis. Our team has also decided to standardize on some templates for account planning and note taking uh, for all of the new opportunities that come in. So I'm starting here in a Salesforce table view. You can see all the opportunities assigned to me, and there's some of that basic functionality here already. I can add next steps, and uh, then when I save that information, we'll see the last modified date updates. Uh, so I can kind of do it here. If I start to click into these different opportunities, it's going to open up different tabs for me. And so you can imagine if we're going through all of these ops uh, and looking at any of their details, uh, it can take quite a while and, and get pretty cluttered here. Uh, so I've created an app sheet application that sits on top of Salesforce. It's connected to Salesforce as a single source of truth. So you still maintain it as your as your official data source, uh, but it gives a much uh, more intuitive interface for the field team member to interact with. So let's take a look. Here's the app sheet ap application and uh, so far kind of similar. We have a list of all the opportunities that are assigned uh, to the logged in user over here and we can click on um, a specific opportunity and we can see all of its details listed here. So the first difference that I'll point out is if we need to click through different ops, we can do so really quickly and get all of the details for those in a single view. The next thing we can do is make some quick edits. So take this opportunity, for example, uh, we can add next steps here and then we can go on and continue editing. Each of these changes is going to be synced back to the Salesforce data source uh, asynchronously, which just means that the user doesn't have to wait for it to happen before they can go on to their next task. Now, here's where AppSheet really starts to extend Salesforce. Uh, take, let's take the uh, Express Logistics uh, opportunity here. I'd like to extend the content that I have in Salesforce with some additional information that's important for me in tracking which app ops I should be prioritizing. Uh, in this case, I'm, I created a button to add a strategy. So when I do that, uh, AppSheet has created these additional fields. These are for me personally, and they're customizable, and they're outside of Salesforce. So this allows me to track day-to-day uh, -day notes uh, and create a subjective status. So this, for me, might be a balance between the opportunity size versus the likelihood for it to close. And then I can add additional fields like who's the uh, buyer, what challenges they're facing, uh, what risks the opportunity has, any of the information that helps me as an individual track these deals to completion. When I created the strategy, it triggered an automation in AppSheet. So if I scroll down to uh, the bottom of the opportunity de details here, we'll see a couple technical milestones were created, the account plan and the running notes. I can go ahead and open that up and we'll see uh, this used a template that I have saved. And uh, when the automation executed, it called an app script function, copied that template and put it into my Google Drive. So we can see that here. This is the express logistics and transport account plan. We can see the organization that it created for me as well. Here in my drive, I can go into accounts and here we can see the Express Logistics and Transport account folder. And we can see the account plan and the running notes here. So it automatically did a lot of the account notification that I would, uh, account organization that I would have had to do manually otherwise. Now, the cool thing is AppSheet is keeping this all in sync with Salesforce for us. So if I come over to the Salesforce instance and let's look for that Express Logistics app and let's open that up. Now here we can see those same technical milestones and we can see a link uh, to the same Google doc that we had opened before. So all the changes I make in this doc, uh, they're gonna be saved in the doc itself. The link that's being opened via Salesforce or via AppSheet will open up to the exact same document. Next, we have the ability to manage tasks. Uh, so let's come back to the AppSheet application here. And we can see a, a, a panel here for related tasks. Uh, so as I'm going through um, uh, the sales cycle, uh, there might be some uh, you know, things like email customer with pricing. And I could add additional information here. 
and then give it a task status, either backlog, active, waiting, or completed. We'll give it active. If I need to put down a predecessor, I can, and then it's automatically associated with this opportunity. So when I save that in, we'll see, we'll see that related task now shows up here at the bottom of, of this particular opportunity. Let's come over to another app and I'll come down and create another related task for this one. And let's put this one into the backlog. And I'll go ahead and save it. I also created another view specifically for managing these tasks. So we can come over to the Kanban view, view here and we can see categories for the backlog, active, and waiting. And if I click on any of these tasks, then the details will pop up over here. So I can use this to move tasks back and forth between the different cat categories and then prioritize them within each category. We also are keeping this information in sync with Salesforce as well. So let's come back to the Express Logistics uh, opportunity here. We'll resync the page. And then we should see the app sheet tasks will be uh, populated with that new task that we created over on the app sheet side. So the outcome of this solution is keeping Salesforce as your primary source of truth. That's important for large organizations. However, it's adding the customizability of AppSheet and the low latency experience of clicking through an AppSheet dashboard to see many records and their details all in one place. This is of course just one example of how we can extend Salesforce with AppSheet. The cool thing about AppSheet is it didn't take any code to create this app. For my sales team, if people would like to create unique applications for smaller groups, no problem, we can do that. Uh, if a marketing team wants to extend Salesforce to track their marketing initiatives, no problem, AppSheet can do that too. The benefit of standardizing on AppSheet is in the customizability and extending the ability to create these apps, not just to your IT team, but really any of the business users throughout your organization. Thanks for watching.